Hello everybody, thank you for tuning in. We're going to be looking at how I can make screens using just pairs of colour. Um, as you can see, I've organised the colours. Um, how to organise these colours you can see in another video of mine, which is to do with uh, the colour line. Um, what I've, of course I'm focusing on greens, greens go centre. And also I'm, I'm, I'm going to focus on one particular green, Fujian green. Perhaps not the most popular colour, because it's so intense, so bright. Uh, I like it, but I like the lot, but so it's up to you, but what you, you feel about it. But if you want to control the video in green, how do you make a, how do you make it um, less intense? And obviously, the, the, it's controlling it using pairs of colour either side. Um, the colour itself <coughs> is, we call it a blue-green. And I'm going to have a way of getting very subtle changing it. And uh, how beautiful it looks, actually, when it's a grey version of it, I think. Uh, so I'm going to use emerald green, and next to that, cerulean blue. Just a little bit of cerulean. Shifting it over towards that green now. As you can see, the cerulean blue is just a little bit too, too light a colour to get the intensity, the darkness of the pigment. But it's uh, if you just look at that, and then look at that, and just see the difference. You can see that's just slightly greyer version of that colour. Um, now I'm going to go a bit further apart. I've got the old cobalt blue and uh, emerald green again. That's nice, just getting a nice little slight change in the, it's hard to see, it's almost identical. I'm going to go for <clears throat> a little bit further apart again, this time using the permanent green and the cobalt, cobalt blue. Oh, that's nice. You can see that's going dark quite quickly, but uh, is that the same colour as wood in green? It's, uh, it's hard to tell. One way of testing is to use black, tiny bit of black. See what a vidin green looks like when you put black with it. A bit too much there, so I'm just going to put a little bit more and see the difference between these two. If I put that colour up there, just looks a little bit more blue that one, so I'm just going to add a bit more of the cobalt blue to that colour. That's more like it, and it goes a kind of similar colour to this colour. And it's darkened it as well. <clears throat> We've got the darker green. Now, you can see it's really quite looking like a really nice little uh, subtle green, that now. Um, I can go more subtle if I go with the ultramarine blue and the permanent green. So, permanent green, a bit further apart again. Ultramarine blue. And that's making a really rich, nice, dark... Viridian green there, and it looks as dark as the actual pigment. But you can see the difference and the intensity of the colour. If we just rub it in there, and you can then go back and you put the the pure viridian green next to that, and you can see the difference. It's really huge, and that's a nice subtle, uh, subtle version of that using ultramarine blue and permanent green. Now, if we go a bit further away, if we start looking at the Greens, they see the greens start looking lighter, might lose, might go a bit greyer the colour, but I'm still staying. I could go even further, go over towards the yellow and then use the ultramarine blue. Use quite a lot of ultramarine blue with the yellow. So the colour's closer to brilliant green. That's looking too blue, it's a bit more yellow. Lemon yellow I'm using. Looking at that colour, you see it started looking a bit more dull. It looks a bit li lighter because I've used the yellow, but you can see the dullness of the colour compared to the um, brightness of the other green I use there. So that's just using just a few colours. Um, all, the, all these vidin greens starting to get darker. Further you go away, um, and they're beautiful. 
So thanks for tuning in. Um, if you really like this video, subscribe. It will, it will, it will be sent to you any other video we do in the future. Thanks for tuning in again. Bye.